All right, so I can't go the whole way around, but and because I'm gonna grind this, this is the, the bad one, and we will remove, it's a half millimeter undersized bearing, and we'll be removing, it's 10 thousandths on a side, it's uh, 20 thousandths under, which is a half millimeter. So you could see that bearing journal is pretty smoked. Uh, it's, it could be a lot worse, but there you have it. All right, so here is the setup with the tool post grinder. This is a uh, Do More number 44 that's Do More makes these. I've been making them for decades, and that's kind of the uh, standard product. So we have a, uh, I don't remember the grid on this wheel, but it's pretty fine, and we'll rotate the crank as we, uh, as we take some off a little bit at a time. And here we have our indicator. And we'll have to uh, carefully mic this so we uh, know how much we're taking off. Uh, we're trying to take 10 thousandths off nominally so that we can use the uh, half millimeter undersized bearing. All right, so just to show you the tooling that was made to uh, to do this repair. So you have to mount the crankshaft so it'll spin around the, the throw of the crank pin. So <clears throat> that's what this turning dog is. So you can chuck it here. And then on this end, I have a similar fixture that'll clamp down to the main and has a center so I can put that and turn it on the center. All right, so like I said, we're going to take 20 thousandths on the diameter. I've done two passes and I've taken about um, um, 12 thousandths off, six on a side. It's cleaning up real nice. And that spot that had the most damage is almost cleaned up. There's a little bit of um, gouging still. I think that'll all clean up.
and then we will use plastic gauge with the rod, the new rod and the new bearing, and we will exactly measure our clearance, and we're going for two thousandths on the diameter. But you can see how well the defect area has cleaned up. It's polished up pretty nice with the half inch belt sander with 400 grit that's what's recommended for the final finish and you don't want you don't want mirror smooth because you want to have some micro grooves for oil so we'll we'll use the um, we'll use the half inch belt sander on the mains we'll just touch those real real gently and we'll get those cleaned up all right so the next step is to use our plastic gauge and we're going to measure the clearance with the new rod and rod bearing here let's start hold this one all right, so here's our plastic gauge. And you want to align the plastic on the middle of the cap, not towards the bolts because the clearance is actually different there. Alright, so now you take your package and you compare the width of the smeared plastic with the, the gauge. Um, and we're going for 2,000, so we're now going to use a, a uh, polishing band and we're going to try to dial this in and get this side, which is a little high. I'm going to try to get it even across there. All right, so not sure if you can see that too well, but our strip has smashed, and it looks like about two thousandths. 